This is Mariam, and aka Marjum, <laughs> I guess. And she's uh, done a lot of these, so she's going to be your demonstrator, and I'm going to get in on her hands for this and let her talk us through it. Can you see that? Okay, so basically the way I think of these things is they're just supposed to be like little creatures that, you know, come from you and that you created and they don't have to represent really anything. They're just kind of fun and they can sort of hold like this little aura that they have in them. You know, people think rocks have auras, which I can neither agree nor disagree with, but I wouldn't be surprised. So it's like creating this own, it's got to have an energy to it, you know, whether it's like happy or sassy or like, it's just, you can like mold it to have a feeling, just something that you like. And everyone's is different, like no one makes the same thing. So for this amount of play, I was, you could maybe even make three out of Let's this. do three. It depends on how big you want to I make want it. I want like the three, three little bears. I want three sizes. Well, so it, but it also depends on the rock you're using. You want it to be proportional to the, it doesn't have to, it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be any type of way. Would you like some more rocks to choose um, from? Sure. All right. The reason that I picked the two that you had on these bags is because this, this, so when you're trying to pick which colors are more compatible and stuff like that, just think about there are like complementary colors, which is something I do a lot. So this is orange clay and blue is the complementary of orange, meaning that on the color wheel, it's opposite to it. So these two colors will always work together, blue and orange. You could also do green and red or yellow and purple. You can also do, oh, there's more rocks. You can also do like simple black or white rocks, go, can go with any color because they're pretty neutral. Um, so yeah, I usually either do one of those two. Here's a surface to work with. Thank you. Okay. Now, for the record, so, they only get about five rocks to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you do with what you do what you can with what you have. Just um, keep in mind what whatever colors you think look good together. But if we're going on the basis of color theory, complementary colors, or colors that are close to each other, um, in in this case, I mean a black. I feel like a black would look really good with this orange too. It's so it's so bright and the black is just so out there. So we could also do something with this or the shiny. I missed this little one teal well. brown one. So See, you could do bag. that, but I would say like that they sort of wash each other out. These two colors when they're next to each other. Like I would do this on a blue or a purple would look really good. Well, with they this, all got kind, kind of, of a yellow. Pink, pink color. Everyone got the same color. Um, pink, red, they didn't have all the same, but we got them like the, the skin tone, the pink skin tone. Type. Okay. And some people got like a little brighter red. Anyway. Well, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter that much. So just, so, I mean, so pick your, pick your rock and then based on this, like, how, you know, you have to kind of picture in your head how big you want the body to be. I don't necessarily want the body to be this big, like, but, but actually that might work. I don't know. You just, just start off by like squishing it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of heat to get it to be moldable. So make sure your hands are, I didn't do that before I started, but make sure your hands are clean because sometimes the dust and stuff from your hands and even on your surface will get stuck to it. And when it's a really solid color, it's kind of obvious sometimes when dust gets attached to it. But at the same time, like, again, it's not a big deal. This is supposed to be a simple little task. So I have a ball. And if I look at it with this head, I mean, think about the orientations that you want, that you think that this could be to sort of resemble a human-like figure. I mean, I feel like it could, where, like, where do you think its face could be? Maybe, I don't know, Dad, what do you think? The flatter side. I feel like that's kind of funny looking. <laughs> it is funny looking. That's right. So, so... I'm imagining that I'll probably use this flatter side as its face because it'll be a good surface to do it on. And then, I don't know. 
an easy like now if you were trying to save clay could you put something in the middle that's not actually clay to use yes. up space you can use tin foil um, I could demonstrate that on another one if you would like but well, if you, that one's so big you're using so much so much yeah time. that so that is true I mean if you want to preserve or you know not use all of your materials you can make a little tin foil ball <coughs> And then you can surround the ball with the clay, effectively hiding the ball inside, so you you know you couldn't tell the difference. I I do like using the full the whole piece of clay just because I like like the weight of it. The aluminum foil is really lightweight, so it's good for some things. But it's all personal preference. But I don't know. So I've kind of just this is like an easy go to. I like to give them like little legs. So it just kind of resembles like a sitting, like a cross-legged position. And then um, you just, can it see my hands from there? Yeah, let me move up a little and get your face too. Or maybe I can zoom in here. Move this away. So yeah, I mean, I've got this pretty crude little... To me, like, that looks like someone sitting down, like, <clears throat> so it's kind of just these animated little creatures, and then I'm just going to take the head and, like, literally just squish it on there, and yeah, he's cute. I, I feel like a crazy person sometimes, because I'm just like, that's so cute, but some people are like, what is that? It's not anything, but so... So if you can imagine, the, these are the legs and this is the head, and now we can give it some features that can accentuate it. I like to do, obviously, like some eyes, and I like to make them different sizes because they look kind of funny and wonky and like wacko, and um, that's just fun. So there's one. So you're going to do this. You're going to be sticking all these pieces together, like the eyes and the rock all together, but keep in mind that they don't they won't adhere to each other naturally. So by the at the end of this what I think it's on the list or whatever you guys will be seeing, you will will you may want to like pop, you'll be able to pop the rock off and stuff after it's all baked and then you can super glue it back together. And that way, because these eyes will come off very easily once it's baked, because there's just not much grip between the clay and the rock. So, I mean, we've got this little weird looking dude. You can, I mean, sometimes I like to s squish the eye shapes and you can give them different emotions. Like just by squishing it, I've made him look like he's like, his eyes are squintier like he's more tired or something like that. So just think of like the subtle little things you can do to give him some, give them some character. Hey look, this one already has eyes. Yeah, sometimes, oh, let me see. Sometimes the ro that looks like a face already, like that's a mouth. Sometimes the rocks already have inherent characteristics. little characteristics. It's just fun. I, I think it's fun to find like little characteristics and, and things that are seen. I don't even know if I want to give him a give him a mouth because this like these lines at the bottom sort of in, are indicative of one, but I might give him a nose. Maybe. Let's see. I might have to keep this. <laughs> no. So, I was thinking we could go a step further. Um, so, have you messed around with uh, magnets at all? Not really. So, if we were to like shove this magnet up his butt, I mean in, into the clay. So there he's got a nose, but I don't like that, so I'm just not going to do that. But you can do that if you want. What are you saying? If we were to like stick a magnet into him, then he could be like put up against the metal wall. Or... Yeah. Although this I one think would, that's this probably one, too small. This one would melt in the stove. Yeah, you so you so any additions that you're gonna you just you're not but you could always make an impression of a magnet and then take it off and bake it and then glue it back on um, afterwards if you're trying to 
put, if you're trying to attach something to this that may be plastic, you can always go back and glue it on after. Sometimes, let's see if, maybe I'll, maybe I want to give him some ears or something. Because these magnets are crazy powerful. Are they, because this one's pretty heavy, so I mean, I don't know how much you would want. So he has, there's this magnet. I would maybe do. So if you're going to do that, I mean, you have to, would, you would have to keep in mind, like, the making the back flat. So that's a decision I would make before you super. So then the other thing I, was I guess about I mean you could just do you could just try that. We'll try it. Cuz that would be kind of cute. What were you saying? Um the other thing I was thinking is I can take these and cut cut them. These are the pull chains to to um ceiling fans and yeah. things. Which everybody has a couple of these. Mm -hmm. And then you could actually have if you put one in the clay and let it cook around it, then you have basically like a hanging. Yeah, that thing. would be cool too. I never even thought about these things. So then, many possibilities. Just be innovative. <laughs> you could, um, yeah. And if so, if you were to if you were to do something, we'll we'll do different examples. Um, maybe we can try something. Let me get the copper wire too. And then. No, I don't want to give him ears. So, so one important thing to remember in any sort of creative process is to not overdo it. When something looks like it's when something looks like it's working, and you keep trying to do things to it, and they're not really working, you might just have to accept that this is how uh, it should be. And if you keep messing with it, you might mess up the things that are already good about it. So I'm gonna s stop after I try one more thing, and don't listen to my own advice. I like to give them little hair swoops sometimes. No, I don't like that either. Okay, case in point. Simple is good. This is my guy, number one. Sometimes for fun, I give them butt cracks. Hey, no. <laughs> no. It's just fun. <laughs> But you don't have to do that. Okay, so you now now out. now I'm gonna switch seats with you. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna tell me what to do or guide me through based on what I know. So I'm gonna make a smaller one. So using what one of these rectangles? Yeah. Um and I'm gonna tear a little off so that the next one is me. So it's like mom that's like papa bear and this will be like baby bear. Mm-hmm. And uh what would baby bear look like? So you said warm it up. Yep. Right? I so guess this needs to make sure you can see all that in the Yeah, you're good. thing. Do you have a rock for it? I don't have a rock yet. So since you're doing a smaller one, there's a smaller yeah, there's a blue smaller rock. Right. And again, we're I would if we're trying to do a trio, I'd stay consistent with the blue. Just because it'll Oh no. You okay? <laughs> They'll all go to bed. Life in together. quarantine. He's even got like the mouth thing going on here yeah. too, right? Mm-hmm. I guess you could make some sort of ones that would hang in your car window or something if you attach. Any sort of metal like these chains or something can usually be So you see that copper that wire? What I what I thought is to um is to make like a um just take a little tiny loop. Like if I take this. Do they have copper wire? Yep. Okay. And go like that. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, you can and do then, that. And then I'm gonna bend the bottom so that it, it definitely would catch into the clay. Well, it's a little hard because we don't have like good pliers. Yeah, so if you use like pliers with a round edge, then you can, but if you stick that in, that's another thing, I would just take that out and super glue it back in before you ever hang it because it, because it will just be more secure. So when you're making the little guys, um, 
you can you can you can make them have like this make the subtlest of changes to like the where their leg leg it looks like it's moving and give it gestures and stuff like that and it doesn't even have to have legs really some some of the ones i've made are just like a, it's just a round base and they have like arms or something um just whatever shape yeah how's that whatever shape pleases you does that shape that's kind of cool he's like I'm trying to like get it to not have sharp edges, but he's missing the eyes. Or are she, those his she's... arms? I don't know what they are. I, they look like arms. It's they cute. They do look like arms. They're cute. Yeah. yeah also, these like are the neither idea he's of being nor a she's. A cyclops, right? That's funny. I like that. But then to confuse people. Well, it's kind of like I like the idea of minions. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, some have one eye, some have two eyes, some have glasses, some don't. But you don't see... I don't think there's any minions with one, with three eyes, right? I think there probably are. There's everything. Minions are everything. I just tried to give them a belly button. That didn't work. You can give them belly buttons. Right. Okay, so is this the front, or is this the front? <laughs> they could both be. I guess the, it's whatever that, you that want. One, that one is a little too. If it, as long as it makes you, the point is for it to make you happy. Really, it's like a, it's kind of therapeutic to be able to roll stuff around in your hands and make it take shapes and stuff like that. It's relaxing if you're ever stressed out. I just, and I just like the really fun colors a lot. They're very pleasant. I don't know about these eyes. But, You're not okay. feeling it? So that's one with copper. We did one with a magnet. See that one? And then I'm going to have Mariam come over and do a third one with the remaining clay. And maybe use a, use a little bit of the wire. I mean the... Uh, this. <clears throat> if we take this, we'll do the thin stuff, and I'm just going to take a piece because you could always attach that to whatever. Mm -hmm. I was even thinking that could be like hair coming out or something. <gasps> yes. Well, I'll let you decide. So. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we got to go fast because we're running out of battery. Oh, gosh. Okay. So... Or you could do two teeny ones from that mm. that stick together no, with no, a magnet. I want to do... They could be like twins and they stick together with the magnets. No? No, I like that idea. I'm just like, okay, I had it. an idea. Cut that, that in was... half and we'll put a magnet on each side and then they'll stick together like you're holding hands. Because these are some crazy powerful magnets. I would embed them in the... I don't know, I think they might be too... This might not be enough. Maybe I'll make them... Okay. Make sure... Yeah, we don't want to put it on the table here, on the wood here, because it'll damage the surface, according to the Sculpey website. We want to put them on the uh -oh. plastic. I told them the instructions to have a good surface. But if we're going to bake them anyway, we're going to bake them on foil, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get to demo. Well, as far as the foil goes, if you ever want to make something big, it's pretty simple to just, you just roll the foil up in whatever shape you want, make it real compact, and you can just layer the clay on top of it and it will. But we're gonna bake it, so. Um, I just want. I'm gonna give it, can you put this over there? Yeah, so it's always good to have one of these just on hand for every time you finish anything, you can just set it aside somewhere where it can't be messed with. So on this this one, it's just going to be kind of long, and I'm going to give him little feet. Very subtle, but they look like feet in my mind, I think. And then sticking with the blue, so I have these three rocks. These are pretty small, so I'm going to try to... Uh -huh. So that's kind of funny, I think.
Get it in there. He looks like a very stern. I'm going to borrow some clay from my already set a little bit of the last bit of clay aside to do like little details like eyes and stuff. You want to do a magnet. I have these really thin big ones. got to be careful because look, look, pushes it away. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so here's one of my guys. He's pretty funny looking, I think. And then, so he's tall, so just, I'm gonna make, he's gonna be like the tall, stern looking one, and then I have this little round one, so I want him to be kind of funny. Funny looking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. Oh, sorry. You can use a black one there. And well, I guess one way to do the magnets is if we let them stick together and then you just push them and make the impression, then we can separate them and then super glue them later, right? Yeah. Just trying to think of how. I may have to change the shape of them. We'll just do two tall ones so that they can. Because they won't be able to align correctly. Unless the tall one sits on the short one. <laughs> but then where's his head gonna go? Off the side. Okay. What if he's like? Okay, we can do that. What that if we glue fun. the glue the magnet so to his head? So we're gonna put a magnet on top underneath this guy. And if he's. You push it, I call push that. It, you can push speak. it down so it's flush. Like push yeah. it. So it's tricky once you get to a point where you like something because you, you want to make sure not to lose the form. I can't tell them to give it a butt. Thank <laughs> you. Then you give it a butt. That's funny. Okay, give it a butt. Look at, so. You can just use simple little, any sort of toothpicks or anything, and this is just an example of like, you can always do textures, like you could like, literally just tap on the back and give it like fur textures, or you can draw things in it, but I sometimes just like to give them little butt cracks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it gives them character. And I just find it funny, I think it's funny because Otherwise, like when you're not looking at these things from the front, they're pretty boring. So it's funny when you like turn it around and it's like, oh, there's actually more on the other side to look at. <laughs> and I think it's good to have humor about normal can... things. Everybody has a butt, okay? Everybody has a butt. Um, you can also give him, I might give him like a belly button. We'll see how that looks. There, so now he's got a little belly button. That's cute. I don't know if I'm gonna let you keep these. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just trying to do this. He wants it to sit on top, so then I guess maybe this if guy could it, be it, like lying down. I, know, I can you, imagine. If you, him. if you push him down, you, that'll make the right impression for you know where the other magnet goes. Yeah, but let's make it so I, I can. I imagine that he would be like lying down or something. Oh wait, wait, what if we what if we give him another head? Like he's a push me pull you, he's got a head head on each side. Well I would use if I was gonna do I'd use the same colored rocks. Well I don't think they're I'm gonna have I'm kind that of choice. keep in mind like I'm very I'm 
this is just I I'm weird. I I prefer, you have a huge rock collection. They only have like five rocks. Yeah. And the likelihood of them having. It two. doesn't matter if things are the right colors or anything like that. Just whatever you like together is fine. I just am anal about certain. OCD. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So he's so now there's two heads. That's just funny looking. Okay. Yeah. So maybe so, each head could have one eye. So that's actually like a big head and it's just a head. That's funny. It looks like it's actually like a face already. Like it's a prank. It looks kind of like a praying mantis head. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you could like get, take a little tool or toothpick or whatever and just like. I'm gonna give him a little mouth. I think that's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I like when they have these weird mundane expressions that don't quite fit anywhere. They're just kind of like in existence, you know? They don't right. have to be embody a specific emotion. It can just be like, so he's gonna sit on top. Do it on the flat curve. Now, is there any way we can incorporate this uh, beaded Beaded chain in there? Is um, that too complicated? In this one? I think in, in this one it might be too complicated, but maybe we can do it to one of the other ones. Or if you have more clay, we could make it. No, that's that little bit of clay that's is the all last we have bit. left. I should that's all I had. Okay, so we've got. I'm gonna. I've squished him a little bit. Just always keep in mind that these are still malleable, so when you're doing something. It's blinking. Is that when it's going to die? Yep, we're about to die. Well, so. it's embedded, so... Let's get a good close-up of all three before we put them in the oven. Here's this bottom and this one on top. It's going to be able to attach to that one. We've got this one that was made by DI. It's two-sided. He's got little arms. I think it's really cute. And then this is the original one that we made. And we put a magnet on the back. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to hold up because this is pretty Part heavy. two. We've got these. So the one thing I think we're missing is some use of the chain. Yes. What could we do with that? But I think that this one would be a good example of it if, if you are not opposed to me. So what I kind of envision is two small pieces that are stuck in the shoulder blades like wings. But they're just drooping. And then later you could hang from them. Do you, want, do you want them in the back? Well, who says that's the back? Now, aren't you being like gender specific or frontal specific? Yeah, aren't you? You're right. Okay, here. So, cut, <laughs> cut, cut an inch off that, and then cut the inch in half. On the camera, in front, in front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> But is there a way to get it into the clay without destroying it? Because we want to put it in the so, clay and have it bake around it so it doesn't matter about the glue. Um, this is the kind of thing, well, I don't know, would I do this first or last? When you're coming up with these like things that are integral to the structure of a certain thing, I might have, you might do it first before you put like smaller details on because when you're handling it, it's just really easy to but um, I think that if you just grab something like one of these by like the second one, it's usually pretty stiff. So I think that you could just, yeah, get that first little ball in there and then, <laughs> that's pretty funny. See, this one already has little nicks in it because of just, and then, yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. And you can just push it on in there Keep in mind, I'll, you'll, we'll probably take these out and again super glue them back in. Or, I, I mean, don't want with, to take them out. I'm hoping they'll bake around the, the little circle, Yeah, so, so if you want that to happen, you have to really make sure to get them in there. And then once they're in there, so they're in there, but I would still um, just like, I'd probably use something like not my finger. And I wouldn't really use wire because it's really, I mean, you can, you can use wire, just sort of like. Yeah, you can just press the clay around it and then it will bake. 
around it. But sometimes you can use softer things, but this is actually working pretty well. But it just depends on how harsh of a mark you want to. But yeah, so now it's got those little... It's kind of like a weird Dalek. Dalek. Yeah, so I don't know what... Okay, so you put if, it on the pan. You could do, I could totally see somebody making hair if you got a bunch of these and just like like right. cut a bunch of little pieces and stuck them all in. That would actually be very cool. Okay, is that so, what you wanted? So the, well, what I envision <laughs> is them hanging, you know, like we attach these others because you Oh, gotta... yeah, so if you're going to do that, I mean, you can just, I would sort of, when you're pushing them in, like have them, if you want it hanging, make it sure that they're sort of upwards like the, this. Because the chains have these things on the end yeah, that I you see. can attach to them. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, if you're going to do that, just like mold it so that it's going upwards because if it, if it's how it was before, like going down... That's going to cause this tension where it'll just be easier to break if... All right, so let's get the, the pan ready. So the the big one, that's the one that's going to take a lot of cooking to go all the way through, right? So the thing about this is usually when something is pretty thick, um, like this is a chunky piece of clay, so I'm not super worried about it being cooked. This would take probably an hour if you were to go all the way through because this is a this is probably I mean it's thicker than an inch. So with the standard Sculpey we're using, it's 275 degrees Fahrenheit and 15 minutes per quarter inch. So this would take more than an hour to bake all the way through. But with things like these that are usually just being like sat somewhere and they're, I mean, they're, they're supposed to be pretty low maintenance, just like hanging out things. Um, I feel like you could probably bake this. I would do it for like 45 minutes or something like now that. Now what about, if what want, if we want to use the toaster oven? It should be the same. You should be able to get the same temperature on a toaster oven. Make sure to matters? not put it on, make sure to put it on bake though. Cause I put, I, when I first started doing this, I ever with clay I would put it I put it on toast by accident and it's so cool. should we use the oven or the toaster I would use the oven just because okay. it's more controlled. so bring it do, so we, just, do you have to well, preheat just, it yeah you have to preheat it to 275 oh I gotta figure out how to use the oven honey what do I do top left bake two seven five and then start, start. All right, so, so we're gonna wait and then put this in there, or can we just put it in now? I just, I usually wait, some, it depends on your, I mean, I usually just wait until it preheats, but I do that with everything, but some people put stuff in the oven before it's up All right, let's put it in. That way we can finish this recording. Okay. I'm just very specific, it doesn't matter. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna put it in earlier, but okay. Well, you're less likely to burn yourself putting it in, but there they go. Um, so the only time that you have to be really, oh, when I'm, I'm really concerned with like how long it's being baked if you have really thin pieces connected to really thick pieces. Because if you bake something that's really thin for over too much time, it'll break. Like, it'll crack really easily. But so these are, like, have, solid pieces. These are pretty solid, so I'm not... But sometimes people, if you want to do, like, little, de like, things... Which I wouldn't really recommend with Sculpey anyway, because it's pretty... It's pretty fragile, and if you're, if you're moving it, it'll break. But if you ever have something that you're making where there's, like, some of the clay is really thin and some is thick... Go on the thinner side because the thicker piece, as long as that outer part of it is baked, I, I'm assuming that it's not a big deal, but you don't want the thin pieces to just break off. Okay, so <sighs> final words of advice because these people have never done it before. They have this one color of pink. Mm -hmm. uh, so you think Everyone like they has should like make. A pink color? It's like a pinkish skin, but some are a little darker red, like a. Caucasian? A Caucasian what? Color? Pink? No, I don't think it's <laughs> Caucasian. Anyway, like they're not all they're not all identical. No, no, it's more it's more like pink and okay. and more of a reddish. But maybe they should make one and see how it goes and then cuz those four little bars each one could make kind of one. You use two yeah. on the big one and yeah. then we made three from the rest. Yeah. So you could make four of them if you want. It's 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 Like for purposes of the demo, we're kind of rushing through it. Yeah. But you could really take your time and make one and then do another one and another mm -hmm. one.
Yeah. Okay, final words of advice. Final words of advice. There's not a right way to do it. Like, just Because this is going to be their mascot for the rest of the camp. Yeah, just make something that you really feel like is a representation of... Not, not even yourself, but like something that you just... I don't know. It's a gut thing. It's hard to <laughs> explain. They're just supposed to be little... Why did you leave all our cabinets open, by the way? This is like sixth sense. I see dead people. <laughs> um, I'm trying to. All right. I've, I've only ever taught one person how to make the, make them before. Okay, so are you happy with those? I love them. I think they're cute. Okay. Because okay. they're. I don't know. Because they 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 just they're chunky and they're nice and they just have the uh, my favorite one is the first the big the big one because it's just very. <sighs> It looks like a, a bean bag. All right, so Mariam, you've got the link to her um, Instagram page, and uh, I'm sure she'd love to hear from you down yeah, the Yeah, if anyone has and, questions, definitely. And I'm sure she'd love to see messaging. pictures of what you've got. Yes. Too. Yes. Because we're going to eventually make a jumps.com website. Yes. With all it's these. It's going to be big. It's going to be big, all right? Oh, okay, we're up to 200 degrees now. All right. All right. Thank you. I think just to stop. Every oven is different. Um, Did you already turn it off, honey? No, it's still on. How do you turn it off? She turned it off, she said. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so how long do we have to leave them before we super glue? Um, I let them sit for at least like 20 minutes before. Okay, so we can really leave them here for a minute. They're all good, all survived. They didn't, you kind of expect them to melt, don't you? And they don't. So I would burn myself if I touched them, wouldn't I? I mean, they're not. Yeah, they're pretty hot. I wouldn't know. <laughs> she touches. After, well, after like five or ten minutes, I mean, they'll You're be. You're not making a good example to After five or kids. ten minutes, they'll be like handleable, but I wouldn't. I would let them sit for like definitely the, at least ten minutes or so. All right, we'll come back. Okay, so what's going on here? So the jams are finished cooking. We cooked them for about half an, for like half an hour, which I think is sufficient for what, uh, what temperature? 275. And how long Fahrenheit. do we let them cool? It's probably been about 20 minutes or so. Did it just tip over? Yeah, so that's something. I mean, I had secured it a little bit before I put it in, but when you're making these, like make sure that you have them really well grounded. But this, you said you wanted to dangle this anyway, so. Yeah, but I want him to stand up. Well, it stands up. Now it's he's just, lopsided. He's fine. No, he's not fine. He's like tippy. Oh. Yeah, well, if he's going to be sitting on a shelf, normally it would be all right. Okay, so basically I just po I popped this off very easily. You just put your nail under it. And you can just like pop it off, and I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue. I don't think we broke the seal on that yet. Oh, how do you do that? You unscrew that. And then. And then. Usually these have some sort of. Yeah, doesn't it have a tip? No. It doesn't? Just have oh. something sharp. Wait a minute, you're saying it doesn't come with the thing? Sometimes they have a little pokey thing. Yeah, there on the should lid, be a little pokey thing in the lid. Um, All right, well, go ahead and talk about the other things you're gonna you're gonna do while. I so we're just gonna a, start pop, popping off all of the things that we put on. We're gonna. Oh, I got it. I opened it. What did you open it with? I just used the tip of the. The plastic. Mhm. Mm so, so be careful with the super glue; it doesn't plug up the tip. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, just. Um, you don't usually need a lot and put it like upwards so that glue doesn't come out of it and then um, and then you just sit it on there and just you I think with super glue you only have to hold it for like Three a seconds. little bit before it starts to adhere but I think it takes like a full day for it to really be solid okay so that's that one so that's good and then like look I can literally just probably yep just pop it off Easy peasy. Put and so the glue. base is already shaped right for the head. Yeah, right? so it already fits. This is why you do this after. And then we'll just sit that on there. And we're going to do the eyes, but I'm going to let that dry. Now we can do. So sometimes if it's like too difficult to get off, 
it might be worth just leaving it. Because that means it'll stay um, on its own. Right? Yeah, and then you, and then you're, you know, the yeah, less you can touch it, the better. Oh, there's some. So sometimes some super glue will seep out. What do you use? Like for out that? the front. I would have Q-tips on hand or something. How about just or tissue? Or a napkin or tissue, but. Yeah, so just don't, so I would be a little less, I'm being too liberal with the super glue. It's because really the amount of space you're gonna have between the super glue and the surface is like not anything. So it's going to push it out, but I see I can just wipe this off. You sometimes we'll get like a shiny residue left over from the super glue. Like see, it's sort of seeped out the front there and I can just go along that and just kind of scoop it up. Okay, so you should have just used a little less. Right? Yeah, which is good. Yeah, so it's, that stuff so can get away this... from you. All right, I forgot we got the two heads. So you so, want to do them one at a time. I mean, like again, those are, that's kind of hard to remove. So, oh, there you go. Just put a little bit back in my stomach. have been too much. Oh God, how is it orientated like that? I'm getting it all over my thumbs. I can't, I can't work with super glue without getting it on my hands. Like, so I would wear gloves maybe if you, anyone has gloves. Well, let's keep it on the aluminum. Sorry. Yeah, and you don't want to, if you put it on one finger and stick your other finger, yeah, your fingers will get stuck together. Yeah, I have now. They'll come after a few days, but best to avoid it. Okay, so the tall dude, you haven't removed his head. Yeah, and so on this one, this two-headed one, I can't really, I've, I've, I've really like, tried and it's not the head's not coming off so i'm gonna leave that one alone it's probably fine because you could always glue it later if it came loose yeah the main thing that i really make sure to get is the eyes because when one of those falls off like if they're so tiny that you're kind of bound to lose them if they come off so that one i just pop off or do a tiny bit because it's not a very big so that much is probably fine and then we just Stick it in there as best as we can, how it was. Ah. Shucks. No. Because it should, you should, it should feel good. It'll the way sort it was. of like fit snug wherever it was. I think that's about right. But the super glue's got to dry. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll do this. See, yours is pretty. That's pretty in there. All right, well, let's leave it then. Um, so we can do the eye. This eye, like, yeah, so it just comes right off. So with the eyes, it's a little- so It's a tiny dab of super it's glue, a, right? Yeah, put just a tiny bit. And you're never gonna get it exactly where it was when you took it off because it's not as easy all the time. I just put like a tiny little drop. So Bring not, it right up to the camera. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. probably more than And then you just anyway. sort of well, that's like the perfect amount. And then you just sort of place it back the best where you, like where you can best guess that it was and let it. Okay, so then you do the other two. So your one's on the back. Like, yeah. I would do one at a time just so that you always have the other ones as a point of reference for where to put. And you can use, if you don't have like tiny hands, you can use tweezers and stuff like that to bet to help you. You can still kind of move it around sometimes. And does that look right? Because at first the glue is slippery, right? Yeah. I'll do those other two once those two, but we can go back to this one now. I'm just going to pop these suckers off. Hmm. 
Looks like he's been crying. There is something out there that like is made by the Sculpey brand that's like before you bake it is sort of an adhesive that you put and then when it bakes it all it like hardens so it's like a and then you don't have to do this afterwards. But that probably takes just as much work, doesn't it? Um, um, I think it takes less work because then you don't have to go through the process of taking it back apart just to put it back together. You can do it as you go. So there's him. He's very sad. So he's done? He's sad looking, yes. And now I can pop these eyes off. Oh, jeez. Mm, I got stuck to my hand. See, they come off so easily. But have you ever had one come off once you super glued it? No, not that I can remember. Usually they're pretty on there. See that one? I, you can see when it like pulls up around the edge. You're It'll good. be really secure, but no, I mean, that's too much. Like when you, I, I don't let particularly like that because like then it leaves again. It leaves this like, you can maybe see it. It leaves this like glossy. Sort so of. you could, and then you could actually when you put, try to wipe it off, you end up making it. You could more put obvious. a tiny bit on like a Q-tip and just dab it that way, right? Or on the tip of a paper, not a paper clip, a yeah. Yeah, I would. Toothpick? I wouldn't use like a cloth or some. The the Q-tip would absorb the super glue, so I, I would use like a toothpick. Toothpick really. The toothpicks are really helpful when doing. You can do little details with them, and. Okay, so this is the last one, right? I think I have think to do the got... other eye. You know what I think would be really cool? You know how you can have the magnets pointed in different directions? So you could have one with a magnet on the front and one on the back. So if uh, the one approaches it to kiss it, facing it, mm -hmm. it spins around the funny. other way. <laughs> So yeah, um, I did do the other side. These pre feel pretty in there, but yeah, I, I, think, I think just they give are. them give give everything a little test pull, you know, just to test the strength of it, and if it comes off easily, and then you can just glue it back on. But it's better to figure it out before it happens, and then you lose a piece, and then have to either have to remake it or just don't have it. So this lid will hopefully keep the super glue wet a little bit. Um, I think so. I mean, there's still a lot in there. Yeah. <clears throat> so be sure it's capped nicely. But, and um, let's see if he can stand on him with the magnet. Does he funny. stay? Pick up the other one. Okay, so he's on pretty good, and then, right? Yeah, so that one's good. And this one, I guess you can you could attach those well, two. Well, wait, can the other hand. guy sit on, stand on his back on the other one? Or are they opposite polarity? Hmm. And this actually does hold, <laughs> which is cool. Well, no, what I had in mind is like, 
can he go on his back on top of him? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you could make all sorts of, like, weird families and stuff that... All right, so now can his wings, you... can his wings stick on to there? Yep. Sort of <laughs> drag them about. <laughs> These are fun, yeah. Well, I wonder they're if they're, I wonder if they're strong enough to pick it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. It's a good thing we glued the all eyes right. on. So we'll get a final shot yeah, of them. I think these are all good. Final shot of them all, the whole family together. Yeah, it's a little. Excellent. With their, oh, with their, oh, see, that's going to bug me yeah, so, so much. Yeah, so, and that, just always make wait, sure. Wait, 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 you have this you... tiny little piece of clay left over. Put that on under his butt to hold him up. He's fine. But he keeps tipping over. Well, if you're taking a photo. Okay, okay, so. okay. So, you got to get lower. We can't see you. Na 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 na